Has anybody besides me, I'm sure they are, used these uh, sounds photo facts on some of these um, old radios like I run? Most of the time, I only knew when I got up here right now. It's uh, is that uh, Lincoln 2 Plus up there on the shelf. And I've been using uh, the old school uh, 138 right here a good bit with this uh, Turner Plus 3. But anyway, the reason I got some of these books is so I could uh, do a little bit of repair work if need be. Just basic, simple stuff. Do that myself. And like this one right here. This is a uh, CB-59 made back in uh, 1974. Um, it's based off the 139 and also the 138. They're pretty much the same thing. But you get in here, and there's your layout of the radio, and it's got these little numbers pointing to different areas, and um, there's reference here, it, and also a schematic breaks down the whole radio, and then there's uh, your crystals, blah 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 blah, all kind of good stuff. These numbers right here. If I can find the dang thing, it tells you what they are in this book. Yeah, right here. You can take like that. It tells you the values and everything. The capacitors. C1, so you, you can go look up C1 in, in here and find it. Of course, replacement data is probably so far out of date on this one, it ain't funny. But I got one for that. Uh, this one was for my Johnson uh, 223 and this one right here CB23 back in 1969 I picked these up on Amazon and here's the one I, I got for my Cobra Cam 89 when I uh, replaced the capacitors in it that I got from uh, Klondike Mike and I'm thinking about getting uh, new capacitors for my 139 base and also that uh, 138, replace that. Um, I had a Johnson Messenger 250 and it was just beyond repair, but if I get any of these others, this book right here, this was made in 1974 as well. And now to the good stuff. <laughs> Red Book of CB Modification and Repair. This one's got all kind of good stuff in here. Um, you want to try some of this yourself. It's got the 146, the 148, President Grant XL. It tells you the voltage and where to set everything. Uh, the Cobra 2000, world famous Cobra 2000. There's so much you can do with that radio modifying it. Uh, the realistic TRC 453, 36, 37, TR 544. It, there's a lot of stuff in here and it even tells you how to get extra channels and what the frequency is all kind of good stuff so if you're looking for something like that want to play around with it um, while they're still available there's a list of everything that this book covers and also <laughs> Black Book of CB Linears. It's got a few of them in here. Uh, Texas Star is one of them for you Texas Star fans. Um, it's just all kind of stuff. So, thought I'd pass this along to you. This some of my uh, my collection of books that I like to break out every once in a while. It's like DNA. There's the Maverick 250, the Phantom Hornet. And the Hawk, it gives you basic schematics of each of these. Uh, I think that nasty varmint's also in here. But there's all kind of stuff in here. There's Demtron. So if you're into toying around with it, it's even got a couple of heat kits. Uh, the Gold Eagles I had, the Gold Eagle amplifier, I forgot what size. And, uh, but yeah, might be something you're interested in. 
There's your Makos. Uh, the Chris uh, amplifiers. It's an interesting book. You learn a lot on some of these. If you take time to read it and uh, go through it, and you might can help diagnose a problem, save you a little bit of money, or create more money. It depends on how good you are at fixing things or want to take your time and try to fix it. All right, guys, uh, until next time, we'll talk to you later. And, uh, good DX. Right now, I am getting nothing. So, cut that. Well, let's leave it on it. But anyway, a new on the air sign I got. So, I want to pass that along to you. And if you need capacitors, look up Klondike Mike. He's out of Canada. And no, he is not sponsoring my videos. He just did me a good job, good capacitors, and a good price on them. All right, until next time, 73.